I recently had a conversation with someone who's uh, hiring for, she's also a chief data analytics officer and she's hiring. And she said her primary role that she's looking for, the skill sets within that role is collaboration, communication, the soft skills, things that I can teach you Python. I can teach you to come in here and, and create a model. But what I really want is someone that could at least communicate what their model does, or at least be able to communicate to our review committee what the, the assumptions were in that model. So I thought that was a very interesting, and I'm starting to see that that's becoming a much more relevant topic, is around the talent and the skills that we're trying to get into, the, into our groups. Absolutely. Sometimes, you know, as you mentioned, you know, you could learn those skills. I could teach you programming. I could teach you, you know, all those technical components, but I can't teach you those soft skills to be a really great human being, you know, just to be honest, ethical, you know, genuine, all of those components. And sometimes I think those end up being much more important, you know, and a lot of other projects now are team-based. So it really has to be in a collaborative environment where you're going to be working together uh, in a non-judgmental, you know, viewpoint where, you know, you have an open mind related to a problem and, you know, being open to seeing things in a very, you know, different way and being open to also receive feedback, um, mm -hmm. you know, in, in a more lighthearted way to say, okay, maybe this is not working because of, let me entertain this, you know, perspective or that perspective. And I hate, you know, looking outside the box or inside the box. I don't like boxes at all. Um, it's just having that information share and flow that is gonna, you know, allow for that critical thinking um, as far as projects. I think that's really absolutely critical and important.